But what I came to see as fundamentally true for human beings is that what we can be, we must be. Welcome back to The Pursuit. We're focused on helping you awaken your potential and achieve your dreams. My name is Patrick Kerwin, and today we're going back to one of my personal darlings. We're going back to humanistic psychology and Abraham Maslow and his hierarchy or his pyramid of needs. Now, you may have encountered this way back in like high school or Psycho 101 class, but it's worth looking back into. And what I really want to focus is the very tippy top of that pyramid. We're going to be looking at the need that we all have for self-actualization. We're looking at what that really means and this one big idea that we can extrapolate from what Maslow taught that gives us the key to unlocking our own happiness and greatness for the rest of our lives. Now, to help dig into this, I wanna do a quick refresher on these pyramid of needs in the first place. So let's, let's jump right in this. So if you can see here, if this looks at all familiar to you, this is, Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Now it's called the hierarchy of needs just as a refresher because his idea was that all human beings have the same core needs. What eventually became human needs psychology. And he said, well, we're all kind of wired the same way. And at a base level, what he called the basic needs, or what we came to understand as the basic needs, you have this idea that all human beings, what we need is we need to have like food, shelter, water, the basics, right? You and I are having this great conversation, hopefully, around our own personal development growth, but if the ceiling's not gonna hold or if there's a fire somewhere, boom, we go we go right back to our core needs and that's the thing that matters most. So we have these core needs. But once we have those met, again, in the idea, we then move up to the second tier of, net of needs is our psychological needs, okay? So these are... I'll just say psych needs. These are the needs we have of our need for love, the need for belonging within a tribe or a group. Additionally, the need for our own sense of self-esteem, the need to see ourselves grow, the need to accomplish and achieve. I mean, if you look back through all of human history, I think you can see history books just right here in these first four areas. Human beings seeking food, shelter, and water. And once we've gotten that, now we're looking for greater senses of community and togetherness and um, collaboration with love and belonging and and. Uh, harmony amongst each other, but also this need to grow. We have this potential within ourselves and we kind of have this need to see that growth happen. When we're stale and we're stuck, it hurts us. And the reason it hurts us is because we have a need to grow and change. But those are the needs of our psychology or the psyche and our basic needs. But to me, the most interesting thing that Maslow brought to the table was the idea of self actualization. Here's how he said it. If you deliberately plan on being less than what you are capable of being, then I warn you, you will be very unhappy for the rest of your life. He actually goes further to say this. A musician must make music. An artist must paint. A poet must write if they are to be ultimately at peace with themselves. What a human can be, they must be. See, this gives us a crucial key on what it takes to live a happy and thriving life. And when you look at self-actualization, what you're looking at is this idea of potentiality in all human beings. And I, I firmly believe personally, maybe you connect with me on this, that there is this creative and spiritual force within each and every one of us. And it calls us to a new place. When we respond to that call to adventure, when we are aligned with who we truly are, there's joy. And we're disconnected, there's pain. But to illustrate that a little further, I'm gonna show you this. Here's basically what self-actualization says, that there is this potential, okay? Whether that's your gifts, your strengths, I'll put S for strengths, your abilities, A for abilities. You have this something in you that you're capable of doing. And then over here you have 
the life that you live. And where there is a gap, most people have said, coaches like myself, I always say this all the time, that wherever the gap, the pain is in the gap between where you are and where you want to be, what you're capable of and what you are, the life that you want and the life that you deserve and should be living. And that gap is what keeps us up at night. Let's say you've got person A. They have these gifts, strengths, and abilities, and they don't use them. They go down a career path that they feel is just prescribed to them or just the low-hanging fruit in front of them, and they stay there. They have their basic needs of safety and physiology met, but they never really seek that greater community that would enliven them. They never really move up the philosophical or literal ladder of life, and they they have the basic needs met, but nothing higher. This person is living a life by default instead of a life by design. But let's look at person B. Same gifts, same strengths, same abilities as person A. They have the safety and physiology needs met, let's just say. Those can come and go with life. Let's say they got those. And they've, out of their own design and will and intention, have gotten around some good people where they feel like they belong. People who align with them on values and philosophy. And as a result, they've been around good people. They've learned some valuable lessons. They've grown. They've shown growth. They see they are themselves and they look in the mirror. They see someone who wasn't the same last year or this year as they were last year. They look over the last five to ten years of their life and every year they look back and say, oh, I was a fool last year because they're constantly growing in themselves, in their career, in their life. They are pursuing their potential. And as a result, they are happy. They are thriving. And not saying they don't have challenges. Anyone climbing the mountain of life will tell you the challenges don't go away. And sometimes they intensify. But there's a smile on their face at the end of the day when they put their head on a pillow at night and say, I did it. Or I'm doing it. I'm on the path towards my greatness. And in that moment is a smile that you just can't take from somebody. So I agree that what a human being could be, they must be, not just for their own happiness, but for the great effect it has on other people. Because when you see someone who's lit up like that, when you see someone who's passionate and doing what they love, that's going to be a person that's going to be a mentor for you. That's going to be a person who's going to be an example for you. We all need someone to aim for and inspire us. So my challenge to you would be, if, this, if you believe this is true, that what we can be, we must be, then I would challenge you, my friend, to answer this question. Where's that gap for you? Where is that gap? Is it in your health gap for you that's hurting you right now? Is it a financial gap that's hurting you right now? Is it a relationship gap that's leaving you with that hit in your stomach that says, this can't be all that there is? Or is there a business maybe that you've been thinking like, oh, I've been thinking about this, I'm on this for a year, I just, I wish I had the courage to just act on it. Whatever it is for you, I would encourage you this day, starting right now, to decide that that gap is gonna close for you. Live a life that is not just in alignment with yourself and your greatest joy, but something that inspires other people to do the same. So, hey, if you like this video and you got something good out of it, maybe it just found you at the right time, Greatest way to say thank you is hit that like button. If you want to be a part of our community and join what we're doing, please hit that subscribe. So again, my name is Patrick Kerwin. This has been another episode of The Pursuit. And as always, I want to give you an ending cheers. May the fire within be the happiest heights. And the road you travel be lined with lights. We'll see you next time.